How could you not love puppies? We are hardwired to find these miniature tail waggers irresistible. They're squishy, adorable faces, wet noses, and tiny paws you just want to eat up capture us at a primordial level. But there's actually a lot more to these downy little cuddle monsters. Number 10. Puppies are born helpless. Like humans, puppies are born without teeth. However, unlike humans, a newborn puppy can't hear, see, or smell either. When a puppy is first born, it only responds to warmth and touch. A puppy doesn't open its eyes or begin to hear until it's about one to two weeks old and doesn't develop full sight until about six weeks. They can't smell much until about three weeks old. Until then, it's very important for the mini pooch to stay close to mom and his siblings to eat and grow properly. Number nine. Puppies sleep a lot. When it comes to sleeping, the newborn puppy isn't much different from us humans. A puppy gets about 15 to 20 hours of sleep per day. It must be nice. The average newborn human sleeps about 16. And like its human counterpart, the tiny canine spends the rest of his day eating. For the new puppy, a lot of growth happens in the first few weeks. A puppy attains half its adult weight at about 14 weeks of age, or 5 months for large breeds. Number 8. Your puppy can understand your gestures. Your puppy can understand human social cues like pointing, but it's something that it learns over time. In 2007, researchers tested 6, 8, 16, and 24 week old puppies on their ability to decode a human's finger point. Though these researchers reported that dogs of all ages could understand the cue and use it to find food under a cup, subsequent analysis by another research group showed that those skills improved over time. Not surprisingly, the older the pups were, the better they were able to understand the pointing and choose the correct cup. Number 7 The word puppy is pretty old. The word puppy has been used for a young dog since the 15th century. It likely evolved from the Middle French, poopy, meaning doll or toy. Meaning shifted from toy dog to young dog in the 1590s, replacing the Middle English word whelp. We still find the word whelp used in modern English as both a noun, meaning puppy, and more so as a verb for the process of a female dog giving birth, i.e. whelping a litter of puppies. The word pup is also used for young sharks and seals since the 19th century and is extended to young giraffes, guinea pigs, and rats. Number 6 Speaking of whelping, how many puppies a dog whelps varies by her breed. While a 2011 study of birth data from 224 dog breeds found that the average purebred dog litter consisted of 5 or so puppies, 5.4 to be exact, Older and smaller dogs tend to have fewer pups. Rhodesian Ridgebacks gave birth to the most puppies, an average of 8.9 puppies per litter, while Toy Poodles and Pomeranians gave birth to an average of 2.4 puppies at a time. Fun fact, the most puppies in a single litter were 24, born in 2004 to a Neapolitan Mastiff in Cambridgeshire. Number 5 Puppy Pea Cosmetics the Oxford Dictionary defines puppy water as an obsolete word meaning the urine of a puppy, formerly used as a cosmetic. Yeah, you heard that right, puppy pee as a cosmetic. Puppy water was a rare but highly regarded cosmetic. It was supposedly good for removing wrinkles, tightening and lightening the skin, and eradicating blemishes. The recipe for puppy water appeared in the Book of Receipts, an almanac of recipes and home cures published in 1684 by author Mary Doggett. We'll stick to teaching our puppies to pee outside, but thanks. Number 4 Keep your puppy's name short. Puppies only listen to the initial syllable of a word. So if your pup is named Princess Prancy Butt, then the only part of the name that your little girl will come to recognize is Prin. 
trainers say that your pup will learn and more quickly respond to short sounds, making training easier and long-term control of the dog easier. Even three-syllable words can be confusing for some dogs. So when should you start training your puppy? The American Veterinary Society of Animal Behavior AVSAB states, in general, puppies should start socialization classes as early as seven to eight weeks of age. In other words, don't wait until your new pup develops behavioral issues to start training. Number three. Your puppy matures pretty quickly. At one year old, your puppy is no longer considered a puppy. Your little one has become an adult. Congratulations. On average, by the time it reaches one year of age, it's matured as much as a 15-year-old human. Many dolls will continue to mature after one year, but it's more mentally than physically. Number two. Your puppy can have her own puppies. Most pups can be spayed or neutered between six and nine months. Researchers found that 43% of puppy litters were unplanned about 2.6 million compared to about 3.38 million planned litters. Each day in the U.S., 15 dogs are born to each human born. As long as these birth rates exist, there will never be enough homes for all the unfortunate pups. Please spay or neuter your puppy. Number one. Why are puppies so cute? All those facts are fine, you say, but what is it about these young animals that make our hearts melt? There are certain features that many baby mammals have in common, and those are the triggers that make them appear cute. Known as baby schema, these include big eyes, large heads, chubby bodies, and soft textures. Babies have these traits, as do puppies. When we look at a puppy, our brains recognize the features that make us relate to our own young, as outlined in baby schema. And this causes a surge of the neurotransmitter dopamine, the chemical involved when we fall in love, and it's an enjoyable feeling. The release of the neurotransmitters dopamine and oxytocin are also associated with the reward pathway of our brains. So, hey, thanks for hanging with me. If you liked this video, here are a few more you're sure to love. If you're a subscriber, thank you. If not, what are you waiting for? And as always... Catch you next time.